Hello, this is Sue from dragoncreations.co.uk. Right, today we're going to do another split cup. Okay, my measurements are, it's a one-to-one -one resin, and I'm not going to say any names because I do use different brands. So it's always a one-to-one -one resin though. So I measured out 180, which is 94A, 86B. And again, 90 and 90. So I decanted 36 and I did, I think I added too many, I added eight drops of pigment. So it's quite dark. And that was just black pigment, pigment tint. Then I decanted 36 of clear one. Hang on a minute, we've got a visitor. monkey right decanted 36 of clear one then i decanted 36 of mica one which is white and mica two which is black but i've only got 18 in here 18 of in each because if i put too much mica in at one time it could flash cure by the time i've done everything else and then 36 of clear two so okay and I sprayed my molds with a nice light spray of isopropyl oh, I can't say that word alcohol let's just say alcohol right so we're gonna go around the edge laying down our first ring and again, as always, just make sure it's touching the mould. I will post a picture of my little visitor. His name's Mo, and he's a one-eyed cat. He's also 16 years old, so he's losing his brain slightly. Right, I'll come back to that in a minute. Lay the ring around on this one. Sorry, I'm just gonna block you for a minute. Just as I go round. <laughs> He's still shouting in the background. And then you just go on top of what you've already laid down because we don't want fat rings. And then just use it all up. Going on top of what we've just laid. Trying to make sure our rings are the same size. I thought I'd try the monochrome effect and see if I can get a nice clear black and white. Okay, and then scrape out. Well, there's more in that than I thought. Not time to scrape yet. Oh, I don't know why he's shouting. I'll have to let him back in. Just scrape this out first. So you can tell I don't do much editing on my videos because I have friends coming in and out. Right, so that's our first ring down. Come on, 
in trouble. Okay, so our next ring is our clear one, 36 grams, and we're going next to, oh, we've got a lot to say tonight. Going next to a ring of tint. He's got a proper moan on. Mo, I'm trying to make a video. I know what it is. He wants a cuddle. He's shouting at me because I won't pick him up. He's just going to walk around me and shout, isn't he? Right, so we're just going on top of what we've already laid and we're pushing the tint back slightly. He's still walking around grumbling. Just get this ring down. <laughs> oh, goodness sake, Mo. I will be with you in one minute, Mo. Oops. He's wandered off now. Doesn't mean he won't be back. <laughs> He's got a proper grumble on tonight. Right. So, quick tea bubble. There's a stubborn one there, I can see. See, I've probably put more in one than the other now because I was trying not to step on Mo. He was just going round my feet shouting. Bless his furry little feet. <laughs> right, that's it. Quick debubble. more in there than there should be because I wasn't concentrating so that is my my fault okay so this is our mica one and we're going to puddle pour I'm just going to try and get them evenly together and go And again, right in the middle. So that's our first mica. Okay, I'm just gonna catch that. This is very drippy, this cup. That's one thing I have found. Right, there we go. And now I'm just going to do this off camera because I haven't got room on my levelling table. Is I'm putting the rest of the mica into the cup. Because as I said, if I had it all sitting there in one cup, 
that would have been 36 times 2 which I can't think at the moment because I'm still laughing about mug sitting on the side and that would have got too warm so I know it's a pain having to put it in twice but that way it won't warm up too much right so that's my whiting I bet you he won't talk to me later because I've ignored him. You'll get the ump. Hey, Mum, you didn't talk to me when I wanted to be talked to. Okay, I'm back. I'll just put them in. So we'll do a quick debubble before we put our second mica down. And I'm not going to turn the cup around this time. I'm going to keep it the same way because I'd like to try and get clear lines. So one side black and one side white. Okay, so here we go. Again, we're going to puddle pour. Try and get them going at the same time. Right in the middle. Excuse me for blocking you, but I'm going to have to tip this cup right the way over to get it all out. Right, so I'll just give this a quick scrape. Tip this right the way over. Right into the middle still. just to get that last little bit out so I know I'm blocking you I'm ever so sorry but I've literally got the cup upside down to try and get the last little bit out yeah, I'm not going to get any more than that out I think not clearing me anyway come on come on come on Okay, so there, virtually empty. Go in a quick tea bubble. I mean, this might not work. It might be too dark and the white might totally disappear. I have no idea. But we shall try and find out. Okay, and then finally we go in with our clear two. Again, 36 grams. 
and into the middle and then put a little bit of height into it so into the middle and then put a little bit of height into it And get my ing my ings my rings a nice even size and scrape out. And that's it. That's all of our ingredients, as I like to call it. Quick debubble. And then we'll get our heat tool, our heat gun and just go over it slightly to start it off. I'm just starting in the middle, not too close, and I'm just moving it round slightly. And this will help get rid of any bubbles. Okay, that's it. And the final thing, just go in and do a last bubble. Get rid of all those micro bubbles that have come up through the mica. As I say, I always use use a lighter. I don't use a torch. I do have a little torch, but I wouldn't use it on the mould. I save it for when I'm doing things on wood and stuff. He's back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take you down and I'm going to have to show you something. Mo. Mo. Now he doesn't want to talk to me. Mo. Mosey, come here. That's the troublemaker. This is the little man that keeps shouting at me. Mo. As I say, he's only got one eye. He, uh, He's only had a one, one eye for oh many many years. He got a grass seed in it. Let's try and get you steady now. So he had it out when he was oh it's been over ten years now, and he's coped so well with it. He's been brilliant, but he's a little noisy thing. Right, back to this. Okay, so. Right, 
Now, I'll just show you quickly. I'll show you with the black actually, because it's probably easier. When I say a heat spoon, it goes up the handle slightly. So hopefully you can see that and it's not blocking it. Let me try and do it over this. Um, ah, the lid, that might help. There, that is a heat spoon for me. And that is the amount of mica that I add when I say a good heap spoon. Okay, so I'll come back in 24 hours and we shall demold these and see what happens. So I shall see you then. Bye. Okay, it's demold time. They look ever so dark. We did get some bubbles though, so or dotting or well they're not bubbles they're dots aren't they we've got some dots in both of them can't see any in there because that's totally black oh, oh brilliant black white oh look at the crackling in there that's just where the pigments come over slightly oh no I like that again can't see what's going on in there because it's too dark oh yes definite black and white so more white on that one but definitely black and white and those crackles look amazing oh yes yep that one's a success I like that so that's a black and white one brilliant okay um if you want me two different colors let me know choose two colors and i'll give it a go okay thanks for watching bye